a SCW Endgame, I defeated Chris Dynamite's demon. I went down history as the first person to defeat his demon, but not only did I defeat his demon, I won the T Division title. You see, I told everyone who would listen that when I win this title, I'm going to raise the prestige and the relevance of this title. My first order of doing that is making this the title of opportunity. So at the next FBW event, I'm hosting an open challenge. To anyone who wants a piece of either of me or this T Division title. It could be anyone. It could be Colin the Beast Peters. It could be Eric Danger. It could be Chris Dynamite if he's not too scared after the losses he took in our match series we had. It could be Warrior if anyone even remembers him and he comes out of retirement and becomes good for once. It could be Viper if he actually chooses his best friends over his girlfriend for once. Hell, it could be Scott Viking if he has the balls to step foot in FBW again. But we know that won't happen. Or it could be that fat ass who just talks shit about FBW during my lunch period. But we know he won't join because he's scared. Because he knows I'm better than him. Because for the past six years, I've been doing FBW, working my ass off to get closer and closer to becoming pro. See, while I've been working my ass off for the past six years doing FBW, he's been sitting on his ass doing nothing. No wrestling experience, just playing wrestling games and jacking off to WWE Divas. Deep down inside, he knows I'm better than him. And I know you're watching this. You need to shut your fucking mouth. You're just talking shit because you're jealous of me. Which is understandable, because while you're sitting on your ass, playing video games, jacking off to wrestling divas, I am here, getting a little famous with over 150 subscribers, getting experience to go pro. That's understandable, but you're scared, and even if you were to accept, all I gotta do is run circles around your fat ass, because you can't wrestle. And even though you say you're better than me, which is false, and I don't know how delusional you are, because I'm here wrestling for the past six years while you am doing nothing, you can't even beat me. In fact, I don't even think you're worth my time, because you're probably going to end up like another call in the Beast Peter's a warrior. You're going to be that trash. Because you're too focused on winning. In fact, let's shoot. He actually wanted to join FW at one point, but here's this. He didn't want to lose. So he wants to be undefeated, and he demanded winning the FBW title in his first match, and he was not willing to work with anyone. So you want to go pro, but you, you, want, you want to win? You want to win. Why? So you could hide your bad talent? So all of us can make you look good because you're that trash? I dare you to step foot in this ring with me. But you won't, because you're just jealous, and you're, you're going to need to admit that one day. But anyway, anyone who wants me or this T Division title, FBW February, the challenge is open. Just meet me in the FBW yard. And the best, as in me, is going to shut you all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the T-Division Champion, ALM. So a while back, I issued an open challenge. An open challenge for this T Division Championship for here tonight at FBW Fight Night. I issued this open challenge 
because when I won this T Division title, I told everyone who would listen that I'm going to raise the prestige and the relevance of this title. Because nobody who held this title before me could, could have done it. So my first order of doing that was making this the title of opportunity. So I went out and I issued an open challenge for Fight Night. So the question is, who is going to accept my challenge? Is it going to be Viper if he chooses his best friend over his girlfriend? Is it going to be Scott Viking? Is his bitch ass going to come out of retirement and not get scared and join FBW again? Or is it going to be the fat ass who just talks shit about FBW? Who is it going to be? But actually, it doesn't matter who is it going to be. Because whoever it is, they're going to walk down that aisle, come face to face with me in this yard, and I'm going to win. Because I'm the best in the backyard, and I am going to hold on to this title for as long as I can. My demon has finally won against, we all know him, the best, Caleb. And you see, I've gotten a lot of time to think about this. And I've realized my momentum has went from here to crashing down into the core. But everyone would think, oh, that's just going to stop him. No, no. This ain't stopping me. Okay? I'm going to slowly... No, 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 not slowly. Fastly, climb my way back up to the top. I don't care who the title holder is when I get to the top. I don't care if it's ALM. I don't care if it's Eric Danger. I don't care if it's Colin the Beast Peters. In fact, he's the most trashiest guy in FBW. But we're going to move on this from that point. The general manager, Matt, has put me... In a strap match free with Eric Danger. And it's surprisingly because I see that I am undefeated in strap matches. And of course, Eric Danger thinks, oh, I'm going to beat him. I got this in the bag right now. No. You see, I'm the best guy to use a strap. And become, come fight night. I'm coming out the victor, and that's just one more step to getting my title back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Strat Match 3, and give it up for first, he is Chris Dynamite. Or well, appears to be Chris Dynamite has not came out yet. Chris Dynamite. Oh no, Chris Dynamite appears to be attacked. I don't think Chris Dynamite will be able to compete tonight in Strap Match 3. Please welcome the T Division Champion, ALM. And his opponent.
Let's get this match started. Ding, ding. One, two. One, two. One, two. Oh! 
One, two, three. And your winner, ALM. And I'm still the T Division champion. And I've defeated the beast. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Colin the Beast Peters. I have an announcement to make to all the FBW community out there. I am retiring. Probably never heard this before. I am retiring and I've had many power struggles over the years of wrestling deciding the fate of me as a person and the fate of me as a character. And um, these dreams that I've had, being in the field of music, these dreams have taken me away from FBW. They've, they took my interest away from me. And to all of, all of the FBW community out there that's watching this, I love you all. I love each and every single one of you. From the wrestlers that I fought in matches that were dynamic and spectacular matches like my matches with ALM my match with Chris Dynamite and others I just have to say this from the bottom of my heart to everybody that's watching this everybody I love you all All of you have made me a better man, and I really love to see everybody shout out at Glee, in Glee I meant, about how they've made me feel better about myself. And all the haters out there, fuck them. Fuck them. All the haters out there, fuck them. And, anyway, these ta this tape, although I love this tape dearly, No more. Because I will be remembered not as a coward, but as a hero. And also, I'll be remembered for the one who stood up against all the odds. Against 
everybody who has said fuck the beast. And I stood up against all the odds here at FBW. I stood up. I didn't sit down and cower and cry. I stood up. And the death of me is the death of you to all the haters out there. And goodbye, FBW.